So you guys wanted a controversial video on Dota 2 versus League of Legends and which one is better. This is just going to be my opinion and from the title it's already very controversial. So let's get into the things that I like about Dota 2. Then we're going to move on to the things that I don't like so much and then we're going to move on to the conclusion as to why League is better than Dota 2 in my opinion. So let's start off with the good things about Dota 2. The first thing is definitely the client. I want to say the biggest thing I like about the client is when you're queued up for ranked or any mode and you're looking for a game, you got a few minutes to spare, you can go ahead and open like the practice tool or demo hero and you can just like, you know, look at all the abilities, you can like practice some like mechanical skill or whatever you want to do. Like let's say there's a patch or something and like they changed a couple characters but it's not like that big of a deal. But you got like five minutes to kill, so you go ahead and like check those out firsthand. You don't have to just like read it. You can be like, oh, that's how much the damage has changed or whatever. So I really like that. Another big thing about the client is the arcade mode. The arcade mode honestly is more fun than the actual game itself, usually in my opinion. And there's some really good arcade modes out there. I think the biggest, most popular arcade mode of all time is probably the auto chess before Underlords came out. I remember that was like trending for a while, like people who have never played Dota all of a sudden installed it to play auto chess. Like that was kind of a brief period of time, but I think it was definitely significant. The next thing is you can sell the Dota 2 skins for money. In League, you have to pay real money to get the skins or you can get lucky and craft them, but you can actually sell the skins for money. So like, let's say instead of like recycling skins that you already have or whatever, you can just sell them for money. In League, you can't do that. One thing I wish League actually had is couriers. Like, that would speed the game up at least by five minutes every single game. Like, that would make the game so much faster. I think that's definitely a nice thing to have in the game. I mean, in League, it's not too hard to recall, go to the base, buy your items, and come back to lane, especially if you have the teleport summoner spell, but you don't always want to use teleport. And if they had the courier, the game would be so brutal. I mean, like, there would be no time to back. You'd always have to be doing something. I mean, the only time you would back is, like, to regenerate, pretty much. That would be the only reason if there were couriers in the game. Or they could, like, do what Dota used to do, which is only have one courier. That would make the game a little bit more interesting, I think. One thing that's definitely good about Dota 2 is the skills on the characters are relatively easy to use. So if you're interested in trying out a new character, to get the basic feel for them is usually not too hard. There's a lot of point and click spells, a lot of passive spells, a lot of like area of effect. There's not really like super mechanically intensive skills unless you're playing some of the toughest characters in the game. So one thing I like in Dota 2 is the jungle items. I think they add a little spice to the game and it's always rewarding when they finally like drop or like the next tier drops it's always exciting to see like oh like what the heck is in the shop right now like there's always new stuff you never you're not exactly sure what's going to be in the shop so i like that element of surprise another thing in dota 2 is they have a lot of hotkey options now obviously there's a few more mechanics in dota 2 like unit control and all that stuff so they're they have to have that but on top of that you can have your f keys set to certain camera position so you can't exactly do what you do in league which is like it'll bind your camera pretty much to your ally so it'll like follow its movement and stuff like that which is going to be one of the bad things about dota 2 that i necessarily don't like but you can have 10 camera positions that you can automatically just look at any time so you know there's probably 10 good places to put those camera positions. Another thing I like about Dota 2 is the Roshan drops. So like they added the shards into the game and now Roshan can drop those shards. So the Aegis itself can be worth up to like 2,500 gold late game because that's how much like a buyback will cost. But these shards kind of make it more enticing to go for Roshan even if you don't have someone who can clear it super easy because definitely somebody on your team is going to be able to use those shards effectively. Another good thing about Dota 2 is there is no region locking. So like if I'm live streaming and someone is all the way in Antarctica, we can go ahead and queue up together. Now the last thing that came to mind for good things about Dota 2 is I think they have some good, interesting, smaller items. In League, there definitely are smaller items you buy, but more likely than not, they just build into other items later on. But there are some like full smaller items in Dota 2 that I like. I think the biggest one is like Orb of Corrosion and they also have like interesting early early game items in Dota 2 in my opinion. Alright now that we got through that now it's time for the stuff that I don't necessarily like.
Now this first one isn't all the time, but the client takes forever to load, usually. Another thing that I don't necessarily like is I feel like they don't get the updates correct, so they update so frequently. Like I've played many sessions on stream where I update, play the game, after one game I have to update again. The third thing, you've heard me talk about it before, is the agility stat. Here is two characters, they look alike, Ash and Drill Ranger, and these are sample full builds. So Ash actually has GA, which is, has some armor on it, and you can see that with Drill Ranger's full damage, full build, she has a 78% physical resistance. Now we look at Ash and it's only at 55% and that is with one defensive item. So I feel like there is definitely something wrong going on here because some of these agility characters, like this is kind of not the best example, but some of them are already like melee attackers and they have some tanky abilities, like tanky passive abilities or, you know, they're immune to spells or can reflect spells or whatever it is. And then they get even tankier for no reason. And I know what you're saying, like, yeah, but what about like the magic resistance? Like it, that's obviously low, even at full build. And I know what you're thinking, but in Dota 2, there's an item called BKB. So if, if you didn't want to go absolute full damage, you could have like 72 to physical resistance and then have BKB as well. Like it, it, in my opinion, it's pretty dumb. The next thing I don't really like about Dota 2 is the profile in game. So if you click on your profile, it just shows all this like pointless stuff that I don't really care about like trophies, all hero challenge. Why would I care about that? I feel like at this point, you should be able to customize your profile, like boxes that you can check to show people what you want to show them. If you only want to show them your ranked games or like MMR, stuff like that, then that should be what you want to see. But like to actually see your official rank, you have to like go into all this like extra stuff and it's like this little number, it's like off to the side and it's like nobody cares about it. It's really weird to me. The next thing I don't really like about Dota 2 is the rank system feels pretty pointless and it almost feels like it's not even part of the game sometimes. We've looked at charts before where it shows that there's more immortal players than a couple of the previous ranks in Dota 2, which doesn't make any sense at all. Where in League of Legends, it's completely opposite. Like if you're in the top 1% or better, that is extremely hard to get to. Where in Dota 2, it's like the very top rank, there's actually more people there than the previous ranks. It doesn't really make any sense. The next thing I don't really like about Dota 2 is the game feels laggy unintentionally. Like they've got all these extra animations in and I know it's from Dota 1 and it's supposed to be just like Dota 1, but I, wouldn't you think they would fix that by now? I mean, that was just because the game engine in Dota 1 does these things, right? It's like an RTS engine. It's not, you know, wasn't made for MOBA. You think at this point they would, you know, fix some of this stuff and make some stuff feel more instantaneous and make it feel more serious. But imagine like new players who are playing CSGO and nothing has changed from 1.6. So you could just wall bang through a ton of stuff and like people think that everyone is hacking and then people just quit the game. Like it, I just feel like they should change these things over time, like make it better, you know what I mean? Not just like leave everything exactly the same or even make it worse. Now the next thing I don't really like about Dota 2 is you can't really lock onto your allies with the F keys. Now you can set 10 different camera positions with hotkeys on your keyboard, which is actually really cool. But sometimes you actually want to lock onto a character because they're probably in a fight or something. You don't have time to like mouse over on the mini map or whatever. Maybe you'll have like the camera set and it might be lucky where it's exactly on the fight. But I think it's definitely nice where I can just like look at what my teammates doing and it like locks the camera onto them for a second. I feel like that helps me get information faster. The next thing I don't really like about Dota 2 is other than getting the towers, there's no real like obvious objective other than Roshan. And sometimes Roshan is not even killed during the game. You as a team are trying to push towers, but everyone is just playing deathmatch the whole time. It doesn't really make sense to me. And it just, it, it's weird gameplay. And it, the games take way too long, normally in my opinion. It's rare that my games are less than 50 minutes. The next thing I don't really like about Dota 2 is honestly, I feel like the laning phase is pretty pointless. Like. It just feels like so dull and stale. Like I like that you can deny the creeps and you know do the creep blocking, but really it's just like endless freezing by pulling with the jungle camps. And if you're not mid lane and you're in those lanes with like two people and you're a support, it's like you're expected to just leave. It's, it's really weird. Like you, they don't even want you there. It's like you go ward the enemy jungle, but the enemy jungle is not even that useful. Only if you notice they're stacking. That's about it. Like the jungle is almost 
entirely useless. It's like you get the, the jungle items and you stack. And I guess stacking is kind of a big thing, but it just feels like there's no point to the laning. Like the whole game is you get Roshan so you can fight, so you can push the towers. It's, it's so weird because like all we're doing is just mindlessly sitting in the lane and then like 30 minutes pass and then eventually we start fighting and then somebody gets Roshan and then finally at 50 minutes the game's over. It's not like there's, I don't know, it's it's really weird to me. And that moves me on to the, my next point. I feel like the game is kind of an endless deathmatch. Now the next thing I don't like about Dota 2, this one is actually big. So I think they have horrible skill display versus League. So not only can you not see your max damage with spell amplification unless you hold alt, maybe there's an option that will automatically show it for you. The description is so long, the text is so tiny. I mean, this is taking up nearly my entire screen. But in League, if you hold shift, you can see all this extra stuff that Dota 2 is showing you. Like, I feel like this is just way too much on my screen. Like, imagine if you already knew what the skill did and you accidentally moused over it and you couldn't see like eighth of your screen like that doesn't make any sense the next thing i don't like about dota 2 i really hate this the trees i feel like the trees are way too gimmicky i mean there are some cool things you can do with them and i feel like it's cool that you can spawn them like some items can spawn them i feel like that's fine but like the trees on the sides of the map are really annoying it's like anyone can run away from anything ganks are pretty much non-existent if you try to gank and you're like sitting in the trees or whatever unless you're like someone who has a hook because even if you were to hook them or whatever they can just like go through the trees and then be untargetable it's really obnoxious i like i, I don't have any fun with the trees and i see a lot of people get away when they shouldn't get away. It's like anyone can just run away at any time in Dota 2. It doesn't make any sense. The next thing I don't really like about Dota 2 is although you can sell the skins, even if you were going to use them, they're all so ugly. Like, I don't like these skins. These skins look terrible to me, most of them. Usually, they're not even marketable, so you have to wait like one whole year to market them. I don't know. It's, it's a bit weird in my opinion. The next thing I don't really like about Dota 2 is there is no region locking, and I don't think there's an option with like matchmaking acceptable ping across your whole team so like this doesn't allow someone with 300 ping to join your team like it's gonna happen in dota 2 and it happens all the time to be honest and not only that but they won't speak your language so you won't be able to communicate with them and it's pretty much like having someone on your team who can't mechanically keep up because of the high ping and you have no way to stop this and on top of that if you knew somebody like let's say they did it on accident right they weren't paying attention they clicked accept and you know it, they honestly were like whatever like sorry i didn't mean to and you're like oh it's okay you can't really dodge in dota 2 it'll automatically give you a full loss not like a partial loss like in league where it gives you minus three lp and it doesn't matter but you get a full loss and your first offense is a 30 minute cooldown wait. Let's say you were playing with one other friend, you get someone with 300 ping, and they're like, oh, sorry, like I queued up for the wrong server, I wasn't paying attention. So if you want to dodge, you and your friend have to wait 30 minutes to play. And let's say you only have an hour to play. Like, what's the chance that you're actually gonna be able to finish a ranked game in 30 minutes? Probably pretty low, so you can't even play. Pretty unfortunate that there's no region locking for ranked, or an option that prevents people with super high ping from joining your team. The next thing I don't really like about Dota 2 is the pausing system. I think they've really overdone it, and everyone in the match gets a pause. Now, if you pause, I don't know how long until the enemy can unpause. I feel like it's probably like 30 to 60 seconds, but all 10 players have a pause, and after you pause, you have a cooldown of five minutes until you can pause again. And I looked up online that if your whole team paused and the enemy was unpausing it, you only have to wait two minutes to be able to pause, like everyone to be able to pause again. I think that's ridiculous. Like it's way too much pausing. I feel like the pausing should be limited to like once per game and once per team. I mean, we're playing ranked and it's like, it's like, dude, I only have 45 minutes to play and now we're paused for 10 to 15 minutes. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. I, I obviously understand pausing for like tournaments or like pro events or anything like that, land matches, but like normal ranked matches, like I feel like there shouldn't be pausing or should be very limited. I feel like it's way too much right now. And the final thing I really don't like about Dota 2 is the horrible pick and ban system in ranked like the normal ranked mode. It should just be straight up captain's mode, honestly. Like the tournament pick and ban system they have is awesome. 
and I don't know why they don't just make that the default. And people were telling me like, oh, you can queue up for captains ranked. Like, why would I want to do that? No one's going to do that. Everyone's just going to queue up for normal ranked. Like, just make the default ranked system better. When you join a game, if you join right away, I think you have 10 seconds to ban a character. So that doesn't give you any time to communicate with your team. And if you join, like, like let's say your connection's like a little bit slow for a couple seconds, you might have only two seconds to ban or something like that. So you have no time to ban and the picking system is kind of wild. It's like, there's not turns. It's just like the first couple picks are blind pick. And honestly, it's the worst thing in the world when after the ban phase, you see who's banned or whatever, and you're like, oh, I can finally pick this character. But you forget like, oh, the enemy is picking at the exact same time for no, I don't understand that. And so the one character you wanted to play is like banned because the enemy picked it at the same time as you, which it doesn't make any sense to me. And then not only that, but you can't dodge the game because you take a full loss and then you have to wait 30 minutes if it's your first defense. So it's just really dumb in my opinion. Moving on to the last part of the video, why I think League is better. We have just a few points here. The first one is I think the pre-game elements add a lot to the game and make it much more rewarding to be creative and like play your play style. So like having the runes, having the summoner spells and stuff like that. So you can play one character in like 10 different ways. And you see a lot of videos regarding League Korean builds or like off meta builds and stuff like that. And it's just like people doing these crazy things with characters who are not supposed to necessarily be doing that or like they weren't created to do these things, but they found a way to make it work. And I think the creativity in League is definitely one of the things that keep people playing the game. The next thing is they have a way better rank system. It's rewarding to play ranked. Like if you ever reach the top 1%, you're playing with like pro players, you're playing with all these guys, you're not just playing with people who buy and sell accounts and stuff like that. Another reason why I think League is better is because for the gameplay, there's way more ways to scale your damage or abilities. So you can scale your damage sometimes with abilities that use your HP, use your armor, use your magic resist, use your attack speed, use your critical strike, and of course your attack damage and ability power or spell power. So in, in League of Legends, there'll be a spell and it says it uses 80% of your ability power and you can buy items with ability that give you ability power so if it uses 80% and you have 100 AP then it's gonna add 80 damage where in Dota the late game items with spell amplification there's very few of them and these are late game items the early game items stack for some reason so you can get six of those early game items and have more spell amplification than you will later on, unless your character gains spell amplification through its talents or something like that. But I feel like in League it's way more rewarding to get items later on compared to Dota. Because if you're a mage in Dota 2, there's going to be a point in the game where the only way you can increase your damage is by increasing your auto attack damage. And if you're like a support mage, like when's the last time you went up to the enemies like face on and auto attack them? Like get in range to auto attack them. You obviously are just going to spam your spells. Like it doesn't make any sense to me that there's very few ways to like get spell amplification unless you're a certain character that has it in their talents or something like that and even then it's it's like there's not that much you can actually get unless you want to buy six of those starting items because a lot of the later spell amplification items do not stack the next reason i think league is better than dota 2 is there's nothing extremely broken like they say in dota 2 yeah everything has a counter but like BKB, for example, at a minimum, for six seconds, you're gonna be 100% immune to spells. Now, I know some spells can pierce BKB, but it's like, so every game you have to play one of those characters that has a spell that can pierce BKB, because like every game, people are gonna buy this obnoxiously broken item, because why wouldn't they? It doesn't make any sense. And th there's more stuff in Dota 2, but I think BKB is like the number one thing that sticks out to me that I just like, I can't get over it, it's so horrible, it makes mages completely useless. Like if they're gonna have it in the game, at least make it require skill to be able to use, not just like for 6 seconds after you spammed it like 5 other times, for 6 seconds you can just run in there and do whatever you want, like it should be like 2 seconds, you know, like it should actually require skill to use the item I think. 
And the last reason why I think League is better than Dota 2 is that there's meaningful objectives and reasons to perform actions, rather than just playing ARAM or Deathmatch for the whole game. Well, in League, we have designated junglers, so there is reason for you to go ward the jungle so you can keep track of the enemy jungler. Because in League, there's no like gimmicky trees to hide in and stuff like that, so ganks happen way more often. So we need to be aware of like where their jungler is and whatnot. And in the jungle, there's dragons, which are kind of like mini Roshans. They give your whole team stat boosts and stuff like that. And there's also the Rift Herald, which is kind of like a super huge siege creep that will like smash into towers and stuff like that. So having control over the jungle and the lane position of the creep. So instead of like permanently freezing, sometimes you want to be way pushed up because if you're way pushed up, the enemy laner is gonna have to stay to soak up their free XP, or they're gonna have to risk that free XP for a team fight. And there's no 100% guarantee that they're gonna win a team fight unless you have extra information like wards in the jungle and stuff like that. So you can see where the game starts to get more interesting, where in Dota 2 it's like, it doesn't matter where the, way the creeps are in bot lane, right? We're just, everyone's fighting in the mid lane at 11 minutes and nothing happens, right? Everyone, like, half the team's dead or whatever, doesn't matter. Everyone just goes back to mindlessly laning, and then at 30 minutes, we start to go for Roshan. Like, it, it, it's just like, it's not really anything going on, it feels like. I mean, maybe if you're super high elo, there's gonna be more communication, and people are gonna try to get towers super early, but that's like the only thing. The only thing you really do in Dota 2 is get towers. In League, there's so much more to do and so many more objectives to get in the game and not just towers. And the last thing I want to mention, which I'm kind of neutral about, is the option to surrender in League of Legends. I kind of like that it's in the game because sometimes you get people who are griefing and the people who are griefing have like a duo and that duo is also griefing. Or let's just say that three of your teammates are disconnected for like 10 minutes and it's like 12 minutes and then it's 22 minutes. Imagine if you're not able to forfeit the game and like the enemies somehow don't realize that what's going on and so you're sitting in the game for like 20 extra minutes when you know there's zero percent chance you can win having the surrender feature is good also in league if someone leaves early on before 15 minutes and they're gone for a significant period of time you can surrender the match and lose less mmr than you normally would because they are forgiving you for having the, the player that leaves and usually you barely lose any mmr or lp when this thing happens like the whole dota 2 scene revolves around the pro scene which they have the surrender feature but in normal ranked games you don't so i think it's a bit weird anyways guys comment down below start some controversy you guys wanted some controversy here it is if you enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like if you're angry leave a dislike if you're new subscribe and make sure to join my discord we can go ahead and talk about any of these topics whatever you can do it when i'm live on stream it'd be awesome anyways guys i'll see you in the next one